Mark Pope and Kenny Brooks revitalize Kentucky basketball. In recent years, Kentucky men's and women's basketball hasn't felt the same. Two winning teams lost their way. March runs were once common, but no team has reached the Sweet 16 since 2019. Both programs lost energy after several disappointing seasons. Passion for both remained, but optimism did not. The good times appeared gone. With new leaders for both programs, Kentucky may feel like Kentucky again. Hope in Pope Kentucky fans initially disliked Mark Pope's hiring. It looked like Dan Hurley or Scott Drew might get it, but things went through, so it was time to look at the next options. Should Kentucky await Billy Donovan? Bet on Shaka Smart. To ensure Kentucky hired the appropriate individual, a delay was expected. After Mark Pope was hired a day after the Hurley and Drew talks, confusion and rebuttal ensued. Pope revitalized Kentucky in just over a month in Lexington. Pope received support from the Big Blue Nation. He's here, so why not? That may have been the best introductory press conference ever. Older fans were reminded of the 1996 championship team, while younger fans had something new to cheer about. Pope has since built an SEC competitive team. From BYU, Pope knew the axes and O's. However, Pope and his team were questioned about their recruiting ability to compete with the Blue Bloods. The answer is likely yes. Next season has unusual expectations because there are none right now. Granted, it's not June yet, but this is so new. New head coach, staff, no freshmen. All of it. We haven't seen this much anticipation and enthusiasm in Lexington in years. Let Kenny cook. Next, Kenny Brooks. Like Pope, Brooks appeared unexpectedly. Most mid-major coaches were mentioned during the hiring process. Another ACC coach was mentioned, but not Kenny Brooks. Thus, Brooks' name appearing a few days before he was hired was a shock, like a fever dream. Finally, that wish came true. The women's basketball program named Brooks its seventh head coach on March 26. Virginia Tech, where Brooks played eight seasons, experienced success. Brooks received less criticism than Pope. Only angry Hokie supporters opposed the hire. Immediately, the BBN knew Brooks would be a terrific pick for Kentucky, and he proved it by opening strong. Juco talent Amelia Hassett, Clara Strack, who had a great NCAA tournament run, and All-American guard Georgia Amor committed to Brooks on April 4. It felt like Kentucky was returning. It's been full throttle since. It hasn't been this exciting for the program in a decade since Matthew Mitchell led the Cats to three Elite Eights in four years. Both men's and women's programs are in good hands, so supporters should enjoy this season. Comments on this article have moved. Discuss this topic and Kentucky sports on the new KSR message board.